we are the Gales family. Um, there's many, many of us. I'm Kazana. This is my papa. People think that we're different, but I, I think that this is normal. This is my cousin Diona. Uh, definitely, when we're in public, is really the most fun. My auntie. Uh... I was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my big, loud family. The military is a different lifestyle. Very it really much. is. You're raised to be hard on your sons and to more of a tough love situation. And I think you learned that from your father and yeah. so forth and yeah. so forth. Yeah, you know, on our first date, we actually said that we would <laughs> never get married or have children. I just started thinking like it would be really amazing to have a little person to join us. When I was going into my second year at university, I moved in with my grandma. At first, it was a little bit tricky because I can't speak Chinese at all. Yeah, I was 18 when Jasmine was born. As a teen mom, there's definitely complications um, as far as trying to get your own life together while raise a little one. Being transgender, it was very hard. In one way or other, you either say no, like unfortunately a lot of parents did, uh, or you get involved. I'd say that we have a lot of love for each other, and it's not um, the kind of love where it's like, yeah, I love you. It's the kind of love where I will always be there for you, I'll always be by your side. She had to escape China, so when I picture my grandma as someone who's my age, I just think of someone who's very hardworking and just did everything for her family. We were very excited for our um, ultrasound at 20 weeks where you find out the sex. The doctor came in and gave us the news. She looked at me and said, it's not your fault, but you can't really help when you're like growing a baby, it's hard to imagine that it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. I think you rely on each other and subsequently you don't throw people under the bus, you know, you have to be involved. We were definitely nervous about getting pregnant the second time. Yeah. We didn't know if, uh, like what the odds were of that of the same situation happening again. It wasn't exactly what I envisioned for my life as a teenager. It was just a different road. It's unique that you can watch them grow and become who they are. And that, to me, is pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool, really. Even if you can't understand someone, as long as you see that they're enjoying your company and that they're happy, then it really doesn't matter if you can't speak the same language. It wasn't planned, but it's been the best experience in my life. It's turned into the most beautiful relationship ever. And I just remember looking at her and thinking, like, that is the most perfect yeah, little thing was, in the was. world. Like, mm -hmm. I can't believe that was just there, and now there she is, and she's like, Perfect. Yeah. I wouldn't trade it for anything. This this energy that I always feel when I come around my family. We sing and we dance and we have fun. <laughs>